welcome to the banana compartment. Here we have a diversity of uh, bananas, even red bananas. These ones are red, and these are the ones that I'm combining. Here we have more or less 50 different types of bananas. This is Fernando Garcia. He is a researcher from Colombia. He used to work with coffee plants, but from 2012 he has been exclusively working with bananas, earning him the nickname Banana Man. Why are you called the Banana Man? Well, that's also a long story, but to make it very short, uh, because I was always working with bananas and very passionate about bananas, people at the university start to call me different names like Super Banana, Banana Man, Dr. Banana. So that was very annoying for me at the beginning <laughs> because I really didn't like it. Like, hey, banana man. So I was really pissed for that. But at the end, I decided that it was kind of compliment. So it was Fernando is fighting the dangerous Panama disease, a fungus that spreads quickly and can decimate entire banana farms. The disease threatens to destroy the entire $25 billion banana industry. Well, if we cannot um, find um, resistant bananas or di diversify the market with other varieties of bananas, I think the panorama is, is very dark because uh, we have only one banana at the moment in the market. The disease is rapidly spreading. Uh, when I started my PhD, there were only five countries with the disease. And then we actually work in the identification of the disease in different other countries. And from 2012 until now, we passed from, I think, five countries 20 countries, including the last one that was in Colombia, is the first report in Latin America. And that's very important because most of the bananas come from Latin America. If you go to the supermarket and you see the sticker, it's either Ecuador, Colombia, Costa Rica, Panama. So that disease is really a threat. It doesn't have any control. So you cannot even kill it applying chemicals. So once the, the, the pathogen, this is a fungus, it enters in the country and established in the soil, it's just virtually impossible to eliminate it. So the place where the fungus is present is just closed. You cannot grow bananas anymore there. And is, is that uh, the level of risk that we have now with the Panama disease? There is no cure for the disease, but Fernando and other researchers like him are trying to breed better bananas. I will let him explain. We are one of the teams working mm -hmm. So we are trying to develop resistant bananas that are pretty, that can be edible, and the most important, that can be shipped from mm -hmm. countries in Latin America to other countries. So because that's the most important now, that uh, because we have thousands of bananas, but not every banana can be shipped to other countries. So the Cavendish, this type of banana is just special. It's strong, can resist long distances of traveling. So that's what we expect to have a nice banana in that sense, but also, and maybe more important, resistant to the Panama disease. Okay. Most people open it here. Yeah. Uh, the monkeys open it here and yeah. they first bite and then open it here, which is the, the easiest way actually you press and just open. But I do it in a very special way. I do it like this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> because I eat only half banana. So this is the way I eat it. Thanks to Fernando's research, bananas can still be saved and we can all keep enjoying them.